Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And in today's tutorial, we are gonna be making Sammy's hat. <laughs> Sammy is my niece, her name is Samantha, but we're making her a hat for her birthday, or I am making a hat for her for her birthday. Anyhow, so, a couple things I wanted to talk about. I definitely wasn't gonna do a tutorial on this because the pattern is just a simple, nothing special pattern. And then I got to thinking and I thought, you know what, maybe somebody else out there somewhere has a three weight yarn and they want to make a hat and they're not sure what pattern to use with it. So I was like, all right, fine, we're going to do a tutorial. So here we are. So I have a little pom pom. I got these off Amazon. They're so multicolored. I thought that was really cute. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to fluff these. Okay, but anyhow, you're going to need a skein of any three-weight yarn, but I have Yarn Bee Urban Chic in the color Caribbean Vibes. I'm actually look at some of this info. I used a five millimeter hook, pair of scissors, yarn needle. You, well, you might need a stitch marker. You might not. So how this hat works is we just start, we have a three row repeat, a row a single, row a half double, row a double crochets, that's it. And we work that, work that, work that, work that. Now I know my niece's head dimensions. <laughs> now I want to tell you guys, so let's say you're working this up and you're working this up and you, you're getting closer, you know, to the top to work. Cause this is a drawstring, you know, how we close our, the top of our hat with just a drawstring. And let's say you guys aren't sure, you know, is it big enough? Do I need to go more, add more rows or whatnot? I'm going to give you guys a little piece of, a little hint, I'll say, that I use whenever I'm making a bottom up hat. And I need to know, you know, is it going to fit or not? So what I do is I work the pattern and I work the pattern and I work the pattern and I get so far up and I, and I think, ah, oh, I don't know if this is going to be long enough. Because once you drawstring that top together, you, you lose length, right? Because it's all getting bunched at the top. So what I do is I take my hand and I make sure I grab, let's pretend this bottom is the top. Because this is essentially what it's going to look like, right? So what I do is I just bunch this up in the top of my hand. In the top of my hand. I bunch this up. that and I just make sure I have all these chunks at the top and then I kind of I, I, uh, I like set it on the head <laughs> whose ever head you have and see you know okay so I got it all bunched up pretend it's here and then I set it on top and I see you know how far it comes down and if I like it or not so that, that might help I don't know that's just a little trick I use whenever I'm trying to figure if I got the, a good length or not, especially if the person isn't with you. Um, and, you know, if the person isn't with you and you, you can't figure it out, I, it's, that's a good way for me to help, to help me because, you know, I can see, like if I bunched all that at the top, I can see, I'm like, okay, I think that's going to be good. And of course, if it's not at a border at the bottom, nobody's going to know. Okay. So We've gone over everything we need. Is there anything else I need to tell you? Yes. So with this hat, I did um, cherry pick the colors. I didn't let my blue run into the purple round or my purple run into the pink round or my pink run into the yellow and so on. So I did cut my row. I would slip stitch to the first double, half double, single, whichever row you're on. Chain one, pull up a little bit of a loop, cut it pull it, flick it out of the way, add my new color with a slip stitch. And then I would just work around and then I would continue that. So how I have this is, this is how mine came out. Yours may not look like this, but I started with my blue and I worked the chain, single crochet round, half double crochet round, double crochet round blue. So then I had like this much left and then I'd start the purple. So I thought, no, I'll just go ahead and cut the purple or cut the blue, add purple. And so I started with my single crochet round and I had a little bit of purple left. So I went ahead and started my half double crochet round with the purple and then went into the pink, 
the pink went into the orange and I thought I'm not gonna pull this whole skein apart just to get a little bit of pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish with the orange so then I would cut my orange start yellow I had a little bit of yellow left over and I didn't want it to go into the white like I had it was a pretty good chunk and I didn't want it to you know come over so I just cut it add the white single half double double in the white single half double double in the blue single in the purple half double in the pink yellow started the half double and then I just followed that so and went on but you don't have to do that I just that is just me I prefer to cherry pick my colors and if you notice if I can find it see right there where the blue started at the end of the white I didn't make a big deal about it I just went ahead and worked it because it's in the back so I didn't really mind but if this was if you know it was on the front of the hat and it was a big old stripe of blue into the white that would drive me nuts I have to cut it I just <coughs> excuse me I, I that's just me personally other people it's fine you know I don't care what you know, I don't care how other people do it it's just to me I have to do it that way because it'll drive me nuts <laughs> anyway enough yapping let's get started Okay, so to get started, you need a chain of 76. Now, so get your chain done and come back and we are going to slip stitch this closed without twisting our chain. So I got that laid out. I'm just going to bring this end straight over slip stitch to that first chain. Chain one. I'm going to go ahead and pull that tail tighter. Okay, so for row one, all we're going to do is work single crochets. We're single crocheting right back into the stitch we slip stitch to. And just slip stitch in each chain all the way around. There. So go ahead and single crochet in every one of your chains and I will meet you guys at the beginning. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made it around with my singles. I have one more chain to work in right here. And now we're going to slip stitch to our first single. Slip stitch, chain one. So for row two, we're going to work half double crochets into each single crochet. So we're going to go right back into that first stitch that we slip stitch to and half double. And half double in each single all the way around. So go ahead and repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you guys at the, at the end of the round. Okay, so I've made it back around with my half doubles. I have one more single to work into and we slip stitch to our first, which is right here is right here. Here's our slip stitch, our chain one, and our first half double. So we slip stitch into there. Now we chain one. And for this row, all we're going to do is work double crochets all the way around. So we're going to double crochet into the same one we slip stitched into 
and take each half double around. So go ahead and repeat your doubles. Repeat your doubles. <laughs> so go ahead and double crochet in each half double all the way around and I'll meet you guys at the beginning. Okay, I've got one more double to work for this row. Slip stitch to our first. Chain one. And now we're just going to re keep repeating those three rows. A row of single, or a round, sorry, a round of single, a round of half doubles, and then a round of double. And we're just going to keep repeating those three rows, going around and around and around and around. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to let you guys know how many rounds I work to, and how high we're going to work it up. So go ahead and get your start in and, I'll, and come back here and I'm going to tell you how many I'm going to do. Okay guys, I'm back and I've repeated the single round, half double round, and the double crochet round until it measures... About seven and a quarter inches. Show you this way so you can see it. Now, if you need to go longer, you can go longer. I stopped on the double crochet round and I did cherry pick my colors. So, like, I didn't want the blue to, um, so like right here, I just had this much left that I needed to do in the white and I thought it's going to be in the back. No big deal. But, like, the yellow. You can see how much I cherry picked. I got all those ends to weave in, but, um, so like the orange, I just let go ahead and feed into the next round round. And then, um, I would cut the orange and then just go ahead and start with yellow. I would cut this orange and go ahead and start with yellow only because I didn't want to have half rows of colors. So I cherry picked a bunch, I got hair on it. So, what we're going to do now, i got one more stitch I need to work into. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to the first, chain one, pull up a long, 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 long loop, not that long, and then I'm going to cut. that out of there. I'm going to get my long tail here. I'll put this on my needle. And if you guys notice the last couple of videos or even in this video, all the little nicks and scratches. Can you guys guess what I have in my house? What I just got and we just got new in our house, a kitten and he's vicious. <laughs> Okay, so all we're going to do now is we're going to take this long tail and we're just going to start weaving in and out, skipping a stitch each time. So where it went in, skip, out, skip, in, skip, out. And I'm trying to make sure I don't go through any, like I don't split the yarn. So I'm out, I'm going to skip in, skip out, skip in, skip out. Skip in, skip out, skip in, skip out, in, out. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. And if you need to, you can go ahead and mark this. Mark where you started. Right here. I'm just gonna put a piece of scrap yarn through there. So go ahead and repeat your in and out all the way around back to our beginning and we'll be right back. I have a cat here. <laughs> okay, so I've made it back around now. Now I'm just gonna put my hand inside the hat I'm going to take my needle and give it to my other hand, set that to the side. Now I'm going to take 
my other hand, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to hold my hand like this, like this, and I'm going to catch everything that I'm pulling tight up here. And the reason I want to do that is because you can kind of, not very well, but you can kind of control how the top of your hat is closing. See, I still got a little bit of a hole. I'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out. Pull that as tight as I can without snapping it. Now I'm just going to hold and I'm going to bring it across the hole. I'm just going to jam this through some stitches because I want to make sure this gets as closed as, and as tight as I can. Oop, I'm sorry. I bumped the camera. And just, just pull tight. Now I'm going to keep doing this through different spots. Just jamming it through there. And the thing of it is, since I'm putting a pom-pom on top, I'm not really going to pay too close of attention at how pretty it looks. If you're not, I would suggest that you definitely try to pay attention to how pretty the top is, which, you know, what we're doing ain't too bad. So I'm just going to go another pass, making sure I get right. See, can you guys see the hole right there? I want to just make sure that gets closed and now I'm gonna I'm just leaving a loop I'm gonna take my needle right into my loop pull and then whenever I pull this tight it kind of knots it right there go back around went ahead and weaved it in there and pull tight so that's a pretty good close. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in this end, which I have a bunch I need to weave in. I'll worry about that off camera. So I'm just going to weave this into a couple stitches. Nothing fancy. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, so now your little hat can be done, or I've got a little pom-pom. I'm excited to show this to you guys. Ta-da! How cute is that? A little pom-pom we're going to put on the top. Actually, I want to show you guys something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So I went and grabbed this little heat gun I have. I like to use this for my pom-poms. Honestly, it's no different than using your blow dryer. But I'm going to show you guys how I fluff this up. So what I'm going to do is move everything so it focuses on my hands. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of this fluff down the best I can. And the reason why is because when I grab this loop, I don't want to pull out but little hairs so I'm just gonna try to make sure I get all those down and I get my finger right in there actually I need my left hand not my right hand okay so then I take this now this might be loud so fair warning <laughs> I'm gonna try to talk over it here we go okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus at the bottom first and just keep working around and around. It's not burning my fingers or anything like that. You see how it's all fluffed up? So now I'm going to hit it in between, like, you know, just like a circle around it. So it fluffs up all these parts that are at the top and not just at the bottom. See how it's all laid down now? Now I'm going to go back to the bottom and then just keep fluffing it. Give it a couple shakes. And it's all fluffy. 
<laughs> All right, so <laughs> to attach the, our pom-pom, I still have the, my little scrap piece. I'm just gonna run this needle right through there. And it's on our pom-pom. I'm gonna take our hat and I'm gonna make sure I go like, I can. I know that the hole is right here, right? So I'm gonna go, each piece of the yarn is gonna go on either side of the of our hole. So I'm gonna start on this side, just go right in there, pull it through. I'm gonna try to have to, I have to try to separate them because I'm gonna get kind of lost in my my other tails here. Go ahead and put this end. But yeah, with that heat gun, the, your your air conditioner can do air conditioner for Pete's sake. Blah, 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 blah. Your blow dryer will do the same thing. Okay, so I went in right here, so I'm gonna go straight across and go right in there. And of course, I love nope, I didn't. Here it is. And I'm gonna pull them through, grab both, pull tight. Now, if you notice, see how our elastic is kind of just, you know, like got it flopping there? I'm gonna have to do something different now. That's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out. Don't let my yarn, your yarn come off your pom-pom. So we're gonna do something different. I'm learning this, I'm not learning this. I'm doing this on camera just as I would with you guys, or if I was, was it on camera? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to do what I would do if this was a, a top down hat instead of a, a bottom up hat. So we're going to put, put both strings on our needle, both ends on our needle. It's not string, it's yarn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go as center as I can center as in I'm going to try to go into that little hole because what we're going to do is we're going to pop that we're going to pop that um, elastic at the bottom of our pom-pom through there oh see it popped right through I didn't even have to try great yay it's working all right so now I'm going to keep both my strands on there well, and get my needle off my hook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie just like I'm tying my shoe, but make sure you guys can see this. I'm going to lay the little knot I have right here that's not tight. I'm going to push it down, grab both ends. I'm going to pull it real tight. Don't pop, don't pop. So now it's holding that elastic in. And now I'm just going to finish it like I would a pair of tennis shoes. And again, the reason I do this is because if my niece um, gets her hat dirty, my stepsister, all she's got to do is just untie this. And now look at our pom-pom. You can still see it, but it's not as floppy. Yay! All right. It's cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I think it's adorable. I can't wait to see her. She'll, she's going to love it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, please. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Check out the description box. I got some stuff down there. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.